I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage in Southern California. Uh, welcome to our first hands-on, without touching, uh, Zoom technical meet. And what we're going to do today, instead of being super vehicle specific, we're going to be talking about basic electrical concepts and testing. Ronnie, uh, Mike has says, <clears throat> I see a nice cornage on the rack back there. Are there any DHC specific electrical nuances that one should be aware of checking or maintaining that are specific to the raising and lowering of the hood roof? Or is it similar to the other 60s, 70s powered power tops? Some of the components seem so well buried. Do you find that the tops can get stuck down due to electrical or is that not frequent? And if so, is there a manual emergency way to put it up? Most top issues on the, the Corniche, and we're gonna stick with that, uh, and, not, and the earlier Corniches prior to 93 through five, I think. Um, 76 and 83. Yeah, okay. So they don't typically have too many electrical issues. They will have hydraulic issues. Um, what I have found mostly, I think some of those years in there, the parking brake has to be applied for the circuitry to work. It has, they have some relays. Uh, and I, I, a lot, most of the problems I found with those tops is the pump will run, but it doesn't do anything. And they, it has a couple of solenoids, which are pretty bulletproof. Typically it's a loss of fluid issue. Uh, and and that's what I found. And to manually move one of those things, uh, you can do it, but you're fighting hydraulics. So typically it's best to operate the switch while you're trying to force it in the direction you want to go. And it'll, it'll open the valve to let it bypass. Uh, I, I don't have too many problems with those. Sometimes you can change the fluid, um, but leaks. A lot of times you go into that box that the pump is in and you'll see there's fluid all over the place and that's where i usually find the problems are that a lot of times the fittings will loosen up and they'll leak they have little o-rings some of them uh, a lot of times the pump itself will start leaking from the reservoir um, but the fluid is usually the issue on those things bill says can you discuss relays such as those found throughout a shadow or armague am i saying that right the okay. mark this is the starter. Okay. Give me a second. I'll go grab the relay and I'll show you. What Mr. Sundin was talking about, he's got a Camargue and he's got lots of electrical gremlins. And he, by the way, is the one who's going to give us that great presentation about all the electrical features of all the cars. This is a Lucas relay. Okay. This is one of many. Um, and everybody knows what Lucas means, right? It's the Prince of Darkness. And I think those poor guys are just being maligned. So this is a relay here. Now this is a, what do they call it? A single throw, double pole, I think, relay. And you will be marking on there. I hope you can read them. Can you see we've got a W1, a W2, one, two, three. So the W's stand for winding. And what the winding is, is it's an electromagnet. So these wires, these two W wires, are what make the relay work. This is fun. We're going to be able to do this right here. So let's see how I can do this. Um, give me a second, folks. This is going to be fun. You'll, you'll like it. So this wire goes where? OK. Let's go there. We'll make this the, I think the C. That's that one. And we'll hook a light bulb up. So let's go here. So now it should light up, right? Okay, so we know that has good voltage feed here. And we'll see that that one is lighting up also. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to one of the, okay, this is the feed. One of the winding wires there, we're gonna to go to ground, and the other one will make it red. We're gonna activate it with, okay? 
Let's see if it works. Hear that? It means the relay is working. So now we're going to take the voltage feed, and you'll see you have on the contacts, on the double throw, what does it call again? A single throw, double pole. Um, you've got one that feeds both of these. And when the relay is not activated, you're going to have one that is making contact. And you'll find that the other one doesn't work until you activate the relay. And this is a bad relay. Unless I've got the C's mixed up here. Let's do this. Well, so that's, so what's supposed to happen and what we'll do here is we're going to open this relay up. That's a nice thing about these Prince of Darkness relays. You can take a pair of pliers. You see how I'm pulling that out? Okay. And let's, this is open heart surgery. Remember that operation <laughs> when you touch something on the outside? So there, there is a relay. So what you'll see is this is the electromagnet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate it. I'll show you how that works. See that? So this is the normally closed contacts. That's this one, okay? And as soon as you activate it, it closes and it's supposed to activate this one. So a lot of times they'll get dirty and a lot of times heat will bend them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this a little bit. It looked like it wasn't quite touching. Bend it up so it doesn't make contact. And you can test it by putting our voltage wire there. Our voltage feed is the, this one. And you can manually do it. See that? So now I'm manually doing it, and we know that it works electrically because we have had it going. So we just got that. So what we've got here is a dirty connection, I'm pretty sure. Let me get a little file. And what I'll do is I'll just stick a little like nail file or something in there and just clean both sides, do the same down here. And we will see, and you can check the continuity if you want. Another good exercise, let's get this out of the way. And we will convert this back to an meter. It's warning me, wrong con connections. So you can check continuity. First test your meter, see what your base setting, 0.3. Okay, so now one of these should be normally closed. We've got 0.9, that's good. It should close, see? So what we can do now, we can actually check that with the electrical part and activate that relay. We know the windings are good because it's moving it. Look at that. Oh, so the terminal's a little too far away. So what we'll do is we'll make another adjustment. And oh, the potential I've found on these Lucas relays, this, this contact is riveted on. Okay, so that's open. Let's activate our relay. Oops, 1.2, that's better. Let's see if we have enough to light up the light. So let's go back to our light circuit. The ammeter, beep, beep, beep. So here we go. We have cleaned and adjusted the contacts on that relay. And what we have here, this, this contact here in the center is the feed for both of those. And remember, one should be normally closed. Adjust the tension on this thing, just so you know, back here. Where's all my leads? This one. There we go. So 
all my messing around here. So now we got the relay, it's working. It's turning on the bulb finally, on the normally open contacts. So this should be normally closed. So it's, it's deactivated now. As soon as you turn the relay off, you got the light bulb come back on. So 